What's going on guys? Sharp Shar here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, I wanted to briefly go over the main talking point of the new January 2021 developer update for Dead by Daylight, which is obviously the new ranking system, along with a new HUD that'll probably take some getting used to and a couple killer reworks and some movement changes. The biggest thing coming out of this update is the new ranking system. I'm not going to talk about the other changes in this developer update, but if you are interested in seeing what they are, I'm going to leave a link to this post in the description. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Going back to July of 2020, just to give a little backstory on this rank system, the developers have been talking about how they didn't think that ranks were a very skill-based thing in the sense that there could be a lot of rank ones that have just played a ton in that month and become really high rank, but they're not that good. And on the flip side, there could be some really high ranks like rank 15s that don't play as much, but are 10 times better than those rank ones. They didn't really think Think this was a good way of doing matchmaking so they ended up doing a rework where matchmaking is not based on your rank at all and this was all the way back in july of 2020 so fast forwarding now to january of 2021 they're proposing this new rank system where each month everyone will be given blood points based on the highest rank they've reached but the catch is you then get reset to rank 20 every single month. As you guys might know, if you don't, if this is your first video you're watching on my channel, I have a Road to Rank 1 series that I'm in the process of making. Little spoiler alert, I actually did make it to rank 1 and I was kind of going at the process. I would record a rank 1 video, then edit it, and then upload it. So I wasn't playing a ton. So with this new system, I don't think I would have ever been able to actually reach rank 1 because I actually don't play DBD as much. So to quickly summarize the pros and cons of this new matchmaking, in my opinion, to start, I think the pros are obviously the bonus blood points that you get. It does reward dedicated players because if you do play a lot then you end up getting both the killer and the survivor to rank one, you'll end up getting 500,000 blood points at the end of the season, which is a ton. So I actually do like how they did the reward system. Second, I do actually like how they aren't going to do matchmaking based on rank anymore because with my own experience, experience and going through every single rank in the Road to Rank 1 series. I have met survivors at rank 15 that are way better than any rank 1 I've ever played with and the other way around. So I do like how they are moving away from matchmaking with ranking. Third is if you do play a lot, it makes the game more interesting every season because you do get reset to rank 20. So you do have a new grind and you get to go through all the ranks again. Whereas now you get reset to rank five and then you just play a couple games and get to rank one again and for the rest of the season you're just at rank one which will get pretty boring after a while so for the people that play dbd a lot i feel like getting reset to rank 20 is actually very good a last pro it's going to be much harder to get to rank one which is a pro for some people who play a lot they might see rank one as being way harder to get and achieving that milestone of reaching rank one will be way more satisfying but moving on to the cons on the flip side for the casual player i feel like this is a con people who don't have a lot of time to play dbd they won't have that opportunity anymore unless they play a lot because you can't just wait for the rank reset grind a couple ranks and be back to where you were you can't do that anymore you're gonna be all the way back at rank 20 which will make it extremely hard to get to rank one in my opinion second if the matchmaking is completely not based on rank anymore right on rank reset since everybody's gonna be in rank 20 it's gonna be an absolute mess because you're gonna have new players i have no idea what they're doing paired with people that are really skilled at the game and that could throw the games off and i feel like in the beginning of the month it's gonna make for some really lopsided games where either the killer is gonna absolutely stomp you as a survivor or the survivor is gonna absolutely stomp the killer and depending on how bad it is could lead to ranking up being much more difficult when you get further and further into the ranks you'll notice that lopsided games you will never pip even if you do escape if you're absolutely stomped the killer as a survivor that usually means that you aren't getting hooked so you can't get altruism points and so on third if you are a casual player getting a reset to rank 20 every season is really bad because the whole point of being a survivor in dbd for most people is to try and get to rank one and this new system in place they won't ever be able to unless they start playing more which 
really stinks for for most of the player base of dead by daylight i feel like most people are casuals i could see that a lot of people will probably lose hope and give up on trying to get to rank one so overall personally i don't like how you get reset to rank 20. if you're a streamer or someone who plays dvd a lot i feel like this is really nice but for everybody else i feel like it really stinks and getting reset to rank 20 makes the journey to rank one so much harder and some people honestly just give up and not play anymore because they know they'll never get to rank one but yeah guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of this new ranking system and again if you want to check out the other updates and changes they've made in this developer update i'm leaving a link in the description so you guys can check that out so yeah guys that's going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like and sharp subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video